Tito back there at Del Rey, they went to the church group that brought us some necklaces and brought us food. They went back there to bring us some uh, jackets and clothes. You know, Del Rey's called Too Low to Look. The law fires are running them out. I, I just, not 30 minutes ago, was over there doing a story about that. William told me, and someone else had told me the same story. Yeah. So I did a little profile on that, and he said, uh, William said, the same spot that I park at, behind the building, by the path, yeah. you know, is where they got kicked out from. And AutoZone said that they didn't have a problem with it. Did you, did you see this happen? Yeah, I was there. The law run all over like that. Made us all sit down in a row, and made the Christian people give their information. The, uh, the, the one that driving had to give his license. And, and every one of us, they, they questioned us, right, but none of us had a warrant on us, so you know, look at it. They told, but they told us we got called back there again, that they would have us arrested and put in jail. They all right, guys, I'm going to break it down for you. Here's the story. Problem is, I don't know this as a fact, but I have heard from multiple sources that just a short week ago, this particular business, uh, Delray Farms Fresh Market, a Mexican-owned, as you can see, most of the signs are... Uh, half English, half Spanish, but I'll tell you this, I've been in here many times, and if you can't read Spanish or speak it, you might have a tough time, but not too bad. They got great prices, quality food, fantastic, but story is, problem is, is that uh, you may have seen me behind this location many a time helping people out. But apparently a church organization was here in their van, clearly marked, uh, I don't know the name of the church, and it said that uh, the management people here at the Delray Farms uh, <laughs> trespassed these people, you know, the, the church group to prevent them from handing out clothing and blankets and, you know, uh, winter apparel in a, a time of need. Because behind this location, or I should say near this location, is where numerous homeless people live. And they keep to themselves, you know. But according to uh, multiple sources, like I said, they uh, dismissed them from being on the property. So, with that being said, we're going to take a little tour around the building and I'll show you what I'm talking about as to exactly where this took place. Uh, not a big deal, but it's, it's disturbing to me because it's like, look, it's a church group, man. <laughs> They're trying to help out. You know, it's... I find it amazing. I really do. But nonetheless, uh, I guess that's their prerogative and they, you know, they own a business and they feel that that's best and that's entirely up to them. But for me, I will never shop here again. That is just downright wrong. Let's take a tour around the building and see what's up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back in the chariot and we're going to take a little tour around the building. You know, I could purposely park here. You know, I don't know, I don't know why they would do that. I really don't. You know, what if it was one of their family members that was having a, you know, a tough time struggling on the street, living day by day, dollar by dollar. Anyway, we're going behind the building here. And, uh... Apparently, about 300 foot ahead is where this took place. By this telephone pole. I guess this church organization decided to, uh, to park here to hand out some, uh, you know, just essential items to, you know, live through the winter. You know, hats, gloves, you know, jackets. You know, it just, it, it boggles the mind. 
It really does. And they were trespassed. They physically came out and had them, well, not physically, but came out and verbally said, hey, you got to hit the road. Don't come back. Now, this is what I heard. I don't know it was a fact. I have no idea what church organization it was. But, hey, hats off to the church organization for making an attempt. You know, at least you tried. All right, guys. I just thought you might want to know. Those are the things, uh, you know, that these people encounter. Uh, well, far too much, which is sad. So, with that being said, moving on. Positive thoughts. Need some smiles. That's the deal. That you know, back there at Raid, they that church group that brought us the necklace and brought us food. They went back there to bring us some uh, jackets and clothes. You know, Delray's called two loads of luck the law cars to run them out. I, I just not 30 minutes ago was over there doing a story about that William told me and someone else had told me the same story yeah so I did a little profile on that and he said uh, William said the same spot that I park at behind the building by the path yeah you know is where they got kicked out from and I don't know said that they didn't have a problem with it being a did you did you see this happen yeah I was there the law run over names it made us all sit down in a row I made the Christian people give their information. The, church, uh, the, the one that driving had to give his license. And, and every one of us, they, they questioned us, right? None of us had a warrant on us, so you know, look at it. They told us, but they told us we got caught back there again that they wouldn't have us arrested and put in jail. 